Attention everybody, are you an aspiring content creator? You want to get on YouTube and share yourself with the world and don't quite know how or where to start? I have a solution for you. So I would like to introduce you to De Silva Silva, a fabulous content creator who has helped many others to become content creators and she's ready to help you as well. In fact, she has an ebook out to help guide you and teach you everything you need to know about becoming a content creator. And I think you'll find it very beneficial and I would like to encourage you to reach out to De Silva so that she can help to get you started on your journey to becoming the content creator that you've been wanting to become. So please go ahead and reach out to her to learn more. You can contact Ms. De Silva via email at DeSilvaTalkShow at gmail.com. Her email address can be found in the description of her channel and I will leave the link to her channel right underneath this video. There is money to be made in these YouTube streets y'all. Okay, so let's go. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Before I get into this video, let me just say that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So y'all, what did I tell y'all? The new season haven't even premiered and I already knew that Carlos was going to have the cast coming at mail from every angle, okay? The clip that they just released from the upcoming episode proved just that. I guess they thinking this bullshit is about to have us tuning in and we got to prove them wrong, Okay. So I didn't gave Nell the benefit of the doubt, even though I wondered about her being that gray area that Mel says she no longer do in her life. That clip that they released today proved that I was right about her being the gray area. So I'm sure that Mel is going to be saying, God bless you on your journey soon. If she hasn't already, the clip that on released is proof that Mel cannot be friends with anyone who is associated with Martel because Martel is the one that they're going to be loyal to. Okay. In my opinion, that's because he has something on all of their asses that they don't want to get out. And also because in some way or another, they all are just like Martel. So they're going to be loyal to their own, even though, you know, they know that his ugly ass is in the wrong. So let's talk about this clip y'all, because I'm sure that it was an eye opener for Mel. Okay. She really thought that Nell was a friend, even though I'm sure that she had a doubt, okay? And to be fair, I don't think that Nell is necessarily against Mel. And that's why I'm not going to go in on her ass like I could. I honestly feel like she knows that her husband ain't about shit and don't want Martel telling the world how much of an ain't shit man her husband is. So she does what she have to do to make Martel happy. Just like when she was at Mel's name changing ceremony and she was texting Martel back and forth because he wanted to know what was going on at Mel's event. Y'all, so in the newly released clip, Stormy Gonzo Tater Head Steel Baba was in Nell's office talking to her about Martel's arrest. And it's like, bitch, why the fuck is you talking to Nell about somebody else's arrest when you can just turn yourself in and talk about your own fucking arrest? Because don't you got a warrant out on your ass in Madison County for threatening a senior citizen? Ain't your charge harassment? Okay. And why the fuck did you come dressed in a suit like you somebody when you ain't nobody but a scamming ass, lying ass whale? I'm tired of your hooties blowfish looking ass using other people for a storyline. Talk about your shit. Talk about all them people suing your ass for not paying your fucking bills. Talk about how your nose get bigger and bigger every time you lie, which is pretty much every time you say you're rich. Talk about why you resemble the fucking cicadas that's climbing their asses up at the ground terrorizing people. Talk about that. Okay? You come up in there wearing a damn suit thinking you a boss, but how the fuck you gonna be a boss and you can't even speak clear English? Because tell us what the fuck is a meshish. I'm waiting. What the fuck is a meshish? Because you said you think Martel went to jail for a text meshish. See, Mel would never get her ass on TV sounding like that. But you, ma'am, don't care. You spending money on everything but the things you need to be spending on, which are speech classes, your creditors, and getting your customers they shit, the ones who still haven't received it from last year, the year before that, and I think the year before that one, bitch. So Taterhead, okay, 
She was in there asking Nell if she knew about Martell being arrested. Of course she knew, and so did Stormy. They just had to set it up for a scene so they could push the narrative of his arrest being Mel's fault. Okay? Stormy told Nell that she think Martell went to jail for a text message. Bitch, you mean message? And it wasn't the message he went to jail for. He went to jail because of what was in the message, okay? And what was in the message was a threat that he had sent his ex-wife threatening to release an intimate tape that they had made during their marriage to the world. And he threatened to release the tape in an attempt to silence her. He wanted her to shut up and let him lie on her in peace online. And I'm so glad that Mel didn't let that tape scale her, okay? What she did was got her attorney on the line and told him that somebody's dusty ass, bum ass son had just threatened her with revenge pee which was a motherfucking crime. And that's why Martell went to jail. That's why he went to jail. Not because of male, but because of Martell. So it baffles me as to why a bunch of grown black ass women would push the false narrative that another black woman, male, is just bitter. Oh, male just want him locked up because she just wanted to destroy him. No, this was all Martell. Martell decided that he wanted to go to jail to visit his brother as soon as he sent that fucking threat to his ex-wife. Because I see folks want to try to downplay it, okay? And act like he got locked up for just a simple text message. No, dumb bitches. It was because of the threat that was in the text message, okay? The moment he pushed that send button, he committed a federal crime. He did that shit on his own free will. Nobody forced him to do it. He made a conscious decision, okay, to commit a crime. And that is why his bald head ass was in jail, okay? So Stormy Baba asked Nell Carter how she felt about Martell going to jail. And Nell gonna sit up there and say that she didn't agree with it. She didn't agree with sending anyone to jail, especially if the issue could be resolved. So both Nell and Ugmo Elmo Steel both thought that the issue could be resolved. So first of all, there was nothing for Mel to resolve. That's why she sent that shit over to the law because they handle motherfuckers who think that they're going to threaten somebody with revenge P just because that person don't want to be with their sorry asses no more. OK. And the fact that he would do some shit like that just proves that Mel made the right decision by leaving his ass, sent him back to the hole that birthed him and also the hole that helped him ruin his marriage. There was no other way for that issue to be resolved. Nell, you sound fucking stupid. And so do you, Betty Jr. Now, criminals go to jail. You should know that, being that your son was recently arrested for stealing somebody's fucking credit card and buying himself some fucking tires with it. Is that why you don't believe in sending people to jail? Because somebody believed in sending your son to jail? Or is it just because you need to appease Martel and prove your loyalty to him so he won't expose you and your husband? Either way, you cannot call yourself a friend of males. And then say some stupid shit like that. This is why the people male fuck with have to pick a side. Because you can't call yourself a friend. But attaching yourself to a low life sorry ass bitch who was stooped so low as to recruit the bitch he cheated on her with. To release an edited video of her in an intimate tape. You know, an intimate tape of her that they made while they were married. Imagine trusting someone enough to where you would even record yourself being intimate with him, only for him to try to use that very moment to destroy you. Ever since Mel left his ass, he has tried to change how people saw Mel. He couldn't control her no more, so he tried to control how people saw her. Him releasing that tape of her would have had some thinking that, I'll put it like this, had he released that tape of her, it would have had some people thinking that she was the whole that he has tried to paint her out to be for the past four years. It's very clear who the whole was and is. And that's the motherfucker who got a whole pregnant while married to his wife. Okay. So now while you sitting there talking about, you don't believe in sending people to jail, you don't have to, but I wonder if you would feel the same way. Had that been your ass that happened to, she know damn well, she would have wanted Chris in jail. If not laid up in the emergency room. Then she got on talking about how as an African-American community sending black men to jail, she just don't agree with it. I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck what color you are. 
you do the crime, you're going to do the motherfucking time. Fuck all that African-American community don't need no more black men in jail bullshit. If a black man don't want to go to jail, then a black man should go and sit his ass down somewhere. I don't give a fuck about him being black. He could be purple, green, orange, pink, white, all at the same damn time. You threaten me with anything, bitch, you going to jail, especially with something like a fucking intimate take. You fucking crazy. If Mel wanted the world to see her slob of his Vienna sausage, then she would have took his ass to the freeway, got out the car, and went to town right there in the middle of the road. That's the equivalent to that shit being out there on the internet. Anybody passing through would have seen that shit, including their kids one day, possibly. So for Nell to then pretty much say that Mel should have, she shouldn't have pressed charges on his ass because they had kids together? <laughs> that shit is insane. They also had kids together at the time that he sent that fucking threat to their mama. And speaking of their mama, what if she would have, what if he would have released that tape and Mel got so embarrassed and decided that she didn't want to be here anymore and harmed herself? Because shit like that do happen while they ass is so into protecting the motherfucker who knew better. But he's used to doing what he want to do without any consequences. Okay. Martel thought that he was about to get away with that shit. Oh, no, the fuck you not. You may have gotten away with helping your family rob that fucking ATM some years ago, but you're not getting away with this shit. Mel said, oh, no, no, no. Bye, bitch. Away to the cell you go. Tell your brother I said what up, though. Martel has that mentality, too, that just because he got kids, her, him and Mel got kids together, he feel that Mel should lie down and take whatever he want to dish to her, including abuse and bastard-ass babies made with random-ass hoes outside of the marriage. Mel ain't dealing with neither. If you want to nail, that's on you. But don't try to push your fucked up ass state of mind on to other people. You and Chris are some of the last people that need to be trying to counsel somebody, okay? Y'all, this is all in Carlos' plan. The plan is to have everybody coming for Mel. The plan is to make Mel out to be the villain, even though she ain't been doing nothing to nobody. Mel been out here about her business. The business that pays her and folks just can't keep her and her business out their mouth they even trying to use her and her business as a storyline because at the end of the day what do those losers have going on besides lawsuits liens criminal charges etc okay carlos about to have the cast fuck over mail all season long which is why i call for a boycott of the show all season long starting this saturday may 4th which is which is the day that the show is supposed to come back on it's so important that we black their asses out because if we don't that just sends them the message that you know they can fuck over people because the people still gonna support them you know what i'm saying male will not suffer if we don't watch the show the show ain't all she got going on but it's all the rest of them got going on they need that little check that carlos giving them i say make it so they stop receiving it boycott the show hopefully it will tank the show and they will pull that shit from the air. Because at the end of the day, they ain't doing nothing on that show but abusing black women. Something Carlos apparently think is entertaining. To all the content creators and subscribers, please take that show off your DVRs so it won't record. The ones who said they're going to participate in the blackout, don't forget to take it off your DVRs so it won't record. Black the show out all the way, please. I will be pushing out content on Saturdays at the same time of the show, which is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, to make sure that y'all have other stuff to look at during that time. Plus, this Saturday between 7 and 8 p.m., we will be buying up Mel's products, okay? The more they try to take Mel down, the more we're going to support her, okay? That clip just goes to show those who couldn't see it before that both Carlos and the cast ain't about shit. They are basically on a public platform saying to people that it's okay to be abused. Okay. If a black person abuse you or hurt you, just deal with it. That's what they are saying. Y'all just deal with it because we shouldn't send them. We, sh we shouldn't send a uh, black man to jail. No, we shouldn't wrongfully send black men to jail, but in Martel's case, he belonged his bitter ass in jail. He may be out on bail now, but in my opinion, he getting ready to take his ass right the fuck back. And I heard that the new bitch on the show, Latricia, was the one who paid his bail. If so, is that the reason she on the show? Because you know that's how Martel pay off his debt, in my opinion. Oh, I owe you something? Let me pay you back getting you on the show.
I'm so glad that this show is about to be over. In my opinion, it's done for. Mark my words. And y'all, yesterday, I was the one that put out the word about Tisha's makeup artist, Jasmine. Jasmine had hit me up and told me that she was going live because she had a lot to say. The Scots are on my shit list right now, so I decided to pass that info along so folks would tune in. I saw some of y'all concerns about Jasmine possibly being sent on behalf of the Scots for a storyline. I mean, I don't know. I guess anything is possible, but even if that is the case, it ain't going to change nothing because I'm still not going to watch the show. They will not be getting my view. However, I did hear what Jasmine had to say about Tisha, which was that Tisha was being a cheap ass and was only paying her $50 for her to do her makeup. I guess Tisha felt like she was the reason Jasmine had her big clientele, okay? And shouldn't have had to pay her more than $50 to get her makeup done. But if production is paying your ass, Tisha, money to pay your glam, then why not pay her? Why not pay the person that has stuck it out with you and made you up for just 50 fucking dollars for four years? That's trifling. And I think she said your ass wasn't even tipping her either. What seems to have set Jasmine off was when Tisha allegedly told her that she would just pay somebody else. But Tisha wasn't about to pay nobody no $50 to get her face done because wasn't nobody about to accept that shit. It takes time and talent to be able to fix her face. So if she was going to pay somebody else more, why couldn't she pay Jasmine more? It just sounded like she was using her, okay? Because she could get glammed up for the low. If any of this is true, okay? If it's true, I would be pissed too. But you can't expect nothing less from them folks over on the show, from them folks on the show, just trifling. That's why they all flock together. Because they all birds of a feather, okay? They love using people. But that's all I got to say about that, y'all. So, y'all, a blackout it is. Thank you in advance to everybody who is participating. We stand against abuse. We stand against scammers. We stand against frauds, terrible-ass business people, and everything else that Carlos got on that show. Okay? Let's show them that we don't need them. They need us, which is why they should have been treating us a little better and not attacking Mel and blaming her for us holding them accountable for their fucked-up actions. Okay? It's a blackout, y'all, starting this Saturday, May 4th, lasting all season long. We are blacking out Love and Marriage Huntsville. May 4th will instead be a day of celebrating black excellence, okay? Therefore, we will be purchasing some of Mel's products between 7 and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will have some other content for y'all to watch during that hour, okay? And before I get out of here, I just wanted to say that one of my fellow content creators, T Talk With Your Girl, I heard that her son was in a pretty bad car accident today so um if you will please send some prayers up for her and her son okay on that note y'all take care and i will chat with y'all in the next one